They just released this at Build a couple of weeks ago. This is the new Azure portal. It's in preview. Um, it's how they're bringing Visual Studio online. In your, and um, if, you're, if you're hosting things in, in Azure, they're bringing it all together. So this should look familiar to you if you've made the jump to Windows 8, um, or if you have a Windows phone, which I'm sure most of you have. Uh, <laughs> I've got one right here if you'd like to see it. <laughs> so this is the service health, health of Azure. So you'll see I clicked on the service. It shows my service health. And there's actually, this is service health within Azure for all of their, uh, all the services. Um, you can see there's a good list of them. Um, so what that did is when I clicked on that, it opened a new window. Um, they're, they're calling that a blade. Um, most people will probably just call it, it pops a new window, but we'll go with Blade. So you see here I have my ALM Chicago team project. This is a team project in Visual Studio Online. If I click that, it pops up a new window. Um, it should be familiar. I have code, I have build, and I have work. Um, it's, what, it's the same titles that you're used to within Visual Studio Online. Um, I've got my backlog here. If I click on that backlog, it opens another blade. Um, and you can see I have my PBIs. I can add a PBI here. I've got the ability to add a product backlog item or a bug. Enter. That should add. Yep, there you go. If I click on that, I can add some details. If I click on Assign To, it shows all my users within Visual Studio Online. I can comment on it. Um, if we scroll back to that ALM pro to the ALM Chicago project, um, if I go up a little bit, you can see I also have my build definitions. That's okay. If I click on that, it's showing the build definitions that are in Visual Studio Online. Click on that again, it's showing all my builds and their status. If I click on that again, this is actually that build um, that ran. I've got my change lists here, so. Um, if there were any change sets that were associated with this build, it's right in there. Deployments, so this is a continuous deployment to Azure, so it shows the website um, that it deployed to. And any, if I had work items associated with that, it would show it there. I can also click on log here, and it's showing my build log, which can be pretty powerful if you just want a quick look into it. Going back, um, in the code section, you'll see I've got my chain sets. These are all the chain sets. Um, this one is update headers. You can see I've got the work that's associated with that. Um, so actually, these are the, the actual files that are associated with that chain set. If I click on that, it's actually showing you that file. Scrolling back, I can also click on source here within code. That's not what I wanted. Click there. Here it is. So I can click on code. What this is going to do is this is going to show you my source tree within Visual Studio Online. Click on Brad ALM Chicago. Let's just click on the web config, because I'm not a developer, so I might break something if I try to click anywhere else. Um, but I have the ability to see the history of this file. It shows you the chain sets that are associated with that individual file. Or, if you're really crazy, you could actually edit the file right here. So that is, that's the team project within this portal.